Six school districts in the St. Louis region now facing new lawsuits from Missouri's Attorney General. Eric Schmidt filed new lawsuits challenging the school's authority to bring mask rules back. This is COVID cases start to creep back up. Our political editor, Mark Maxwell, joining us now with the latest details. Mark. Brent, the school year will close much like it started with politicians telling teachers and doctors how to handle the pandemic. In a new spate of lawsuits targeting six school districts in the St. Louis region, Attorney General Eric Schmidt argues, quote, school districts do not have the authority to impose at their whim public health orders for their school children. This is simply a distraction and a waste of public funds. Christine McDonald is with Education Plus. I think it's a frustration. Our schools have worked so hard this last year in keeping schools open and keeping students safe. In a statement, Schmidt says school boards are making their mask rules, quote, without any authority whatsoever. In Melville, school officials Team say COVID they only put mask rules in place cases, inside two administrative COVID. offices, not in classrooms. Higher. Clayton officials returned a mask optional Monday. Officials there say their mask rules were approved by the elected school board, which does have legal authority to implement policies to protect students. And we believe masks fall under those policies. Schmidt issued a statement debunked by leading public health and infectious disease doctors, saying, quote, masks simply do not work to stop the spread of COVID-19. Yeah, masks have been super effective, right? Dr. Yeah, Jason Newland is an infectious disease physician at Washington University in St. Louis Children's Hospital. He says politicians taking center stage during a public health crisis we, we hasn't that's been, been very helpful. Pandemic. It's probably been one of the hardest parts of the pandemic to where the healthcare professionals have sometimes been put on the sideline. In fact, dozens of his staff have conducted thousands of coronavirus tests, hundreds of them involving close contact with sick patients. None of them have gotten COVID-19. And guess what the most, the one thing that we all do, we wear masks. We're wearing masks around people all the time that have COVID. Educators we spoke to found the attorney general's timing rather curious. Most schools let out for summer break in one week, so it's unlikely he'd suffer defeat in court. They felt his outcry might be lace, uh, based less in public health science and more in political science. Recent polls showing Schmidt falling behind in his bid for the U.S. Senate.